Hi, Sunis. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video of an Asian woman saying that uh, um, she used to use the N-word a lot, but now she's repented. Why? Because she was young and she felt like because she was in the hood or she's always around in the hood, that's why she was using it. And now she's just a different person and that she was cancelled. That was why, I mean, like she stopped using it and like she was not saying it in a bad way, but she was just saying it. And it's really amazing how people really start like, I used to say it and it was not in a bad way. And people explain to her why she shouldn't use it and she got older and that she has cut the word out of her vocabulary and all of that. And the worst part is that you need to see black people in the comment section doing what they know how to do best. I respect you for coming out, for say, saying that, you know, much respect, queen, much respect, queen. This is the problem we are having, right? You all can see, you know, one thing with all these people, I am not shedding her, like, for repenting because people will say, does it mean that, like, you know, people don't repent and all that. Sincerely speaking, no shades or anything to her. This is me saying that all these people really do know how to train with black people. If you look at her, you definitely will understand what I am saying. She's already looking like a black woman, like, you know, all these people that want to do black women thing, but still do not like black people. Let's get into this. I used to use the n-word all the time i was young and my excuse was as always oh i'm from the hood and i don't mean it i don't say it in a derogatory way i don't say it in a, a disrespectful way so i'm gonna say it but as i got canceled as people started explaining to me why i shouldn't say it and as i got older and i matured i've have cut the word out of my vocabulary completely i don't even say it in songs i don't even say it at all Ever since moving to California, I've been booked for a lot of Asian events that I've never been booked before. I used to always only be booked, you know, for black events in Atlanta, in the DMV. So it's been really different for me. And with me not using the N-word no more and being around like Asians or Hispanics, like no black people around and everybody is just throwing the N-word around, I begin to get really uncomfortable. And my man stretches the black man he gets uncomfortable and he have expressed to me many times when we go to these events how he feels and how he's uncomfortable so today we're in san jose you know we've been in the bay area everybody uses the n-word i don't think anybody has ever checked them and or expressed themselves so before we get to the event at the event everybody's just like saying the n-word 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 and i know that my man is feeling very uncomfortable so i met an asian influencer event where i got an award shout out to white lotus i got an asian influencer award and as i'm on the stage i was like well you know what since i'm up here <laughs> since i'm up here nobody ever and you know have expressed y'all to check y'all about it i know they don't mean no harm that's how they talk out here you know this this is the hood asian area but i don't think anybody has ever really stood up and said anything so when i was on the stage accepting my award i said since i'm here <laughs> How about we do better as an Asian community? If we love the culture, this is a rap event. This is an Asian rap event. Everybody's performing. If we love the black culture, if we love hip hop, if we love culture, let's respect it. And cohesively, everybody stop using the N-word. I was nervous. I was nervous because there was a whole bunch of Asian people all around me. But you know what? I felt really good afterwards. And my man was really, you know, he, he felt more comfortable. And guess what? But the rest of the evening, everybody was very respectful and nobody said the N-word around us. So, yay! Heartfelt growth moment for me. I feel like I have grown a lot since, you know, because I was the ratchet Asian girl. You know, if you Google me, you'll see the most ratchet Asian girl I pop up. But, and I used to be very ignorant and just, you know, I want to express to y'all my growth. And today was a really big stepping stool. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put the clip when I was on stage talking. I just wanna, I do wanna make an announcement. Collectively as an Asian community, I hear the N-word a lot. I used to use the N-word a lot. But, you know, I have a big platform. I have been canceled for saying it. There's a lot of black people who are offended when we use the N-word. Out of respect for my boyfriend today, I would like it if we, as collectively as an Asian community, just stop using it, you know? Because we don't really want, what do people call us to? You know, because people are getting offended by this. 
say that's a wild way to start a video it's the black people in the comments for me oh i respect you so much for saying this she's telling y'all this while she's got her edges swooped and looped cultural appropriating our hairstyle then on top of that she says she doesn't say the n-word anymore she doesn't say it at all but she then says that she used to be the ratchet asian girl she applied ratchet to black people, black women specifically. She also says all the Asian and Hispanics were just throwing the N-word around and her black husband was there feeling uncomfortable. And she says that she was aware of their culture of saying the N-word, but she brought her black husband and subjected him to racism. Then she shows her little acceptance award speech. Not only was it trash, but she says, we respect black people and the culture and we don't like it when people use the C slur for Asian people. And let me tell you something. There wasn't a loud round of applause. <laughs> Y'all just fall for anything. Cause what the fuck is she telling us in the first place? And she makes sure she shows us her pretty little award too. I'm embarrassed for you. I used to use the N word all the time. I was young and my this is my biggest pet peeve with the n-word it should not be used in both ethnic in every ethnicity okay the word should never be used in the first place to anybody it don't i don't care if you're black american or black african i don't want to be known as no n-word okay it's erogatory it's offensive it's disgusting and it's insulting and when I be hearing people that's out, that's within the race and outside of the race using that N word, I'm like, why are you using that word? That is not something to vibe with or to you change the ver diversity of it. It's still making you look like you're deaf, dumb, stupid, slow, like you ain't got no sense. Okay. Like you don't have any type of sense. Why would you want to belittle yourself and have somebody call you the N-word? I don't like it. When I hear the, the young school people and even my children talking, I tell them, I don't want to hear that word in here. It's not acceptable. I don't speak it, so you don't speak it. Okay? And even if you're grown, I don't want to hear that. All right? When I go outside and I be hearing them, I be giving them a look. Because you guys should not be using that. Our ancestors had to be known to use, um, listening to that, that they started talking to each other and using that word until some black folks started slapping each other and saying, why are you using that word? That is the word that the white folks had gave us, tried to embed in us and baptize in us. That is not a word that should be embedded. So why should we use it? And the question that really gets me is when the people, them that's outside of our race, Say to us that if you don't want us to use the word, so why are you using the word? Okay? Make that make sense. Because that word should not be used. Just like a white person don't want to be known as cracker. Okay? And I don't hear them telling each other like, oh, you cracked that wit, Bob. Okay? No. So why would you turn around and use that word? And this is attention to all black American people. Black people, whether whatever descendant you come from. Now, for example, to a woman like her, I think she's Filipino and she comes from some Asian place. To the women who are in relationships and even men that's in relationships with people that have different ethnicities, especially with black 
ethnicity. Just because you're engaged with a black companion, that don't mean that don't get too comfortable. Okay, I don't care if he's your he's married to you or you're in a living relationship, you have children together or whatever. If you want to learn his culture, learn the positive aspects of his culture and her culture too. Even though she said back in the day she was living in she I think she was in a group um she was always in trouble and stuff like that and I think she ended up putting her, I think her mother put her and she was in juvie and stuff. So she started to adapt to the negative environment based on the environment that she was. So she said she used to use the word all the time until she got canceled. Now she comes to a realization that that's not an appropriate word to use, but it was never an appropriate word to use. So like, let us exercise the moment of nobody using that word, even in the lyrics in the song, even when I'm hearing people having a conversation on the podcast, you guys are using the N word. Okay. I just feel like it, it just, something has to change. Like when Fat Joe, you, you guys got mad at Fat Joe using the N word. But you guys are saying an N-word to each other. Does that make any sense? Then you hear Ice Cube when he went to the round talk table with Bill Murray. Because Bill Murray had used it. And I think he used it all the time. I don't believe that was a, a slip of the tongue. I think he used it all the time. And then he comes over strolling in Ice Cube trying to correct him. So you don't use it. And talk about we taking it back. No, that's not something to take back. They, that's something that needs to be terminated. Okay, completely. I don't want to be represented as an N-word or anything else besides my first and last name or my alias name. Okay? So just, and, and this is for the women and even people that's in relationships that's outside of their race and it so happened they end up being with someone that is black. Okay? Just because you in uh, involved in a relationship with somebody, you don't get comfortable with the negativity. You get comfortable with the positivity, like you eat, like the certain foods that he or she eats. That's part of their culture, the type of hairstyles that they have or wear or what their family members wear. That's a part of their culture. The type of clothes that they wear, that's part of their culture. The style of how they do traditional things like for Thanksgiving or they do for holidays or stuff and, you know, whether it's something in their tradition. That is part of their culture, okay? Because eventually when you have kids for them, you want them to learn your culture and also their culture as well, all right? I just, I hate it when people are on this app and they're using the N-word. Even the young kids using the N-word in front of adults, you know, and outside peers using the N-word. I cannot stand it. I think it sounds very disgusting. Okay, it should have never been used. Okay, never, ever, ever, ever. So this is all I got from this video. And uh, sincerely speaking, some people are so good at farming, like you know, bad behavior. I am not saying that I. Uh, I mean, like, you know, she says she has repented from using it and, like, you know, saying some negative things and all that. And, like, you know, really need to see a lot of people in the comment section, like, you know, oh, that it's so sweet. That it's so, how, how is that so sweet that somebody, like, I think she's even married to a black person. That shows you how horrifying some people could be because I feel like some of these people, I don't know, but how are you going to love somebody or love a man or like, let's say I am I, I, like, I am having uh, something to do with an Asian man, right? I love him. And there is a slot for Asian men, Asians, right? And why would I want to use that when I am also representing their culture? Because marrying to an Asian man is as good as have, uh, like, you know, having to where another culture, like having his culture, protecting also his culture and uh, knowing what I am supposed to do and knowing what I am not supposed to do and not do it. I don't know if that makes sense. So I feel like it really does not make any sense seeing people say some not nice thing to black people, probably because you feel like you can do it or you can say it or probably because of the proximity, because I have seen all of them 
like you know when they have proximity like you know they feel like proximity uh on black people means that like you know it gives them also access to do some certain things but no when you are not black you are not black when you are not asian you are not asian you are not supposed to do some certain thing and moreover that is a slur i don't know if if this is making sense you know something shouldn't be applauded right i mean it's okay she stopped it stop saying if only she did stop it because I don't see how I am going to love an Asian man and I am using slur on other people. That does not equate to love because when you love, you absolutely love completely, right? I mean, and then seeing that she is also a minority, okay, I'm not supposed to use a minority, but a person of color, that is even more annoying, right? I mean, we can really do better as human beings because as an adult, there are some things, I mean, we, we we can't continue to wait for people to teach us what is good from what is bad. We are already supposed to know that this is good and this is not good. I don't know if that makes sense. So continuous, I don't know why people will continuously want to like, you know, harm people because I feel like you are harming people, right? So they want to continuously harm you with their words. And then tell you that they did not say it like anything, probably because they are also in the hood or maybe because they have also black friends and all that. We can do better as human beings. And uh, we can also stop all this. Oh, that is so nice. That is so good. That is so sweet. When I see people doing that, I see, I am not tackling this person. I am generally saying, right? When I see people doing things like this. I, I don't know how to say, but I feel like they do not have a lot of love because when you have a lot of, you can imagine waking up and probably want, like, I don't even know Asian slow and I do not want to know it. I don't know other people's slow and I do not want to know it because there is no need knowing it, right? So you all can also make that, I mean, like, you know, I mean, we can, we all can also emulate something like this because I don't know why it's very pressing for you all to always want to use the word that people already saw that we find this word very offensive and we do not want to use it. We don't want people using it and the rest of it. We can, I don't know, but we really can do better and stop things like this. Like she said, she has stopped saying it. Now she respect it. You better keep respecting and teaching people to stop using that because I don't see how you are going to be married to a black person and you are out there using the slow and all that. One thing with all this is that one day you are just going to say it where somebody that did not tolerate or do not have patience will like, you know, knock your teeth off and then you start screaming, black people are right to the sis or this person is mean and all that. Some people do not have that patience to correct people. Some people do not have like, you know, that tolerance to like, you know, absorb some certain things. You're saying it straight up and there is a cord landing on your neck or on your back head straight up, you know, that kind of something. So we can do it better. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.